Hey guys, today I'm going to quickly show you a rundown of how I make some Goat Chop music. Um, this is one of the tracks off my self-titled EP, Are You Ready? by GXVM. Um, if there are any requests after this, because this is my first one, then be sure to drop um, comments down below. But anyway, let's get straight to it. So, simple things here. Just got the drums. Hit that on the go. Nice wee simple beat, and then when the drop kicks in... So nothing too complicated there. But what you're wanting to do, I feel, when you're making glitch off, is you want to just get everything going. Everything hitting at one point, just jumping between each other. So I don't have too many patches in this um, bass line. But I'll give you a wee quick preview of what the baseline sounds by itself. And of course we've got the sub. Sub and bass together. So just quickly, I'll go through the patches that I made here. Um, simply, this is our MIDI clip. Not nothing too spectacular for the talking lead. That was made in FM8. Um, so as for effects, I just used the talk wah for this, just to give it that mouth sound, automating it. Just a phaser and some reverb in the chorus as well, but that's the main section behind this track. Um, if we go on to the other sections, I've got um, a replication of a kill the noise bass I've got in massive, which isn't too kill the noisy, but it's close enough. Um, some things I did were experimented with the phase on this. You can definitely get some different kind of sounds there. But um, if we go on, I've got another patch, this is just a grill bass. So that is just the same patch, just with some automation on it. I think just under here, yeah, here's the automation. So if we just listen to this, it's got the EQ8 with some peaks and troughs on it, just automating up and down with a wow fil filter, just with the preset on it. Just without it you can see, just not that much. Just gives it a bit more life in it. Uh, if we go on we've got a wee laser sound as well, uh, just here. Which is just a blip, just a wee bleep sound or something like that you would get. Um, just goes up different pitches and stuff. Uh, just a bass here, just, just like a kind of, almost just like it's filtered in almost sort of thing without the attack. Um, I've got a wee wobble bass version of the kill bass, which is the exact same patch, just with a, a wobble in this second scream filter. Um, if you guys want any of these patches, be sure to hit me up with a comment and I'd be happy to put them in a media share file for you guys. I would still use some of them now, but I've been trying to change some sounds. But uh, the last one here in this is a scratch, just kind of wobble. So it's got that kind of gritty front towards it. It's just a really distorted, bit crushed ambient wobble that I made for one of my older tracks and I just crushed it. Um, on top of that, you need something that's offbeat, so I just have these vocal samples here, just and all together. So all together is just that. And then just changing throughout, just making every little kind of change that you can to the bass line, just giving it breakdown sections, so. And then 
and just jumping back into it. And as far as other aspects go, I mean, it's just your basic chords, nothing too fancy. That's made in FM8 again. Um, yeah, so on top of that, I've got my little vocoded lead. And then just some white noise to build up and a snare roll as well. Just filtered up. But to be honest, I know there's not a lot in this track, but it gives the impression because there's so much going on that the track's bigger than it actually is, which is sometimes the better option I feel in producing music. But um, that'll do for just now guys, if you want any more info on this track you can be sure to check it out at my uh, SoundCloud, I'll put links below. But um, if there's any on my profile as well that you see that I haven't covered that you might want a tutorial on or a sound or just something, just be sure to contact me and I'd be happy to get back to you guys. But this has been my first attempt at this and might sound a wee bit kind of anxious and <laughs> scared but that's only because I've never done one of these before. But um, hopefully you've enjoyed this and I'll see you next time. Cheers.